Hello, this is series three of the Life of Fred Beginner Readers books. Um, we actually received them, believe it or not, I think yesterday, and our son just loves them. Uh, in fact, he watched me do the video on uh, series two, and he, when as soon as I shut it off, he looked at me and goes, those are awesome, I'm going to read them all tonight. So um, that just shows you... Uh, how powerful these books are for little kids. Um, and he can read them all. He's seven and a half. So uh, I feel like they're, there's a couple words that he's, you know, confused on, but they're w well within his reading level. And the best thing about these is he can read these to his sister uh, and she can learn things as well because it talks about color um, when she's a preschooler or a toddler. Like these are great read alouds to your kids. Um, we continue to learn women as well as men can be electricians. We count to five. Electricity, I'm reading this over here. Electricity doesn't just magically come from the outlets. Children shouldn't play with electricity, and Bach didn't own a cell phone. So there's humor, there's safety, so you don't want to be doing that. Um... The duck owned a cell phone, evidently. So days of the week review. These go over a lot of different mathematical concepts um, and are really, I think, just perfect for uh, preschoolers, kindergarten, young elementary. So there we go. Electricity. And there's the bill for the electricity, so we get some more addition in here. So I've, as I've said in the other two videos, these each have a color in the back of them. Some of them are strange, like burnt umber. Um, some of them are just your standard blue, you know, regular colors, and this one's sky blue. Um, these all have different teaching elements in them. That's what uh, really has drawn me to the Life of Fred math series, is that there are different uh, things that they're learning about, not just math. So... Um, and they are they are cheap considering how many you get in a set and uh, the information in each one of them. And like I said, you can use them as like a picture book. It's interesting to me how, I mean, there's really beautiful picture books out there that are awesome, but um, simple picture books can be just as powerful depending on how they're done. So here's some time. So we learned a dime is 10 cents, and once again, he's got things right over here to show you what uh, you're trying to convey in the, these books. So besides electricity, kitchen needs water. Right is this way. We show north, east, south, and west on a U.S. map. And tiny words in the bottom of the page are just for you. So Kingy is hungry often. Apparently they had a TV as well. So, and there's some recipes in here as well. Just very, very simple recipes. Baked potato, things like that. Or french fries, rather, and one of the other ones. <laughs> More humor. The first line in every line of a poem is capitalized, so getting a little bit of language arts in there. So even for little, little bits, that is um, pretty awesome. Compass, Kansas, where Fred's from. We're in Nebraska, so we're right above Fred. So they can find their state on the map. So there's another little tidbit in English down in this footnote. A dime is 10 cents. A dozen is 12. South. Zero drops of water, concept of zero. Now Fred's got to get some plumbing put in, I think. Maroon is the color on the back of that book. Evening. Fred gets a lot done in a day, doesn't he? So, this teaches some manners. Learning to say thank you. Learning to work neatly. I always read the footnotes to the kids, but it says the comments in tiny type at the bottom of the page are for you. I don't know, I always share them. So some more color. <laughs> Tr 
trying to get the message across to the ducks. Some addition. So a little bit of knife and fork issue. Some fish. Some more English. English is harder than math. I tend to agree with that statement. And Fred is known for his artistic skills. That's sarcasm right there. There you go, how to clean up. Navy blue on the back of that one. Here's garden. So this one's got um, some gardening and how to plant a garden, which actually we're going to do this spring, so I could use it because I have somewhat of a black thumb. What roots are, why we water plants, common names, names of common fruit trees, size of a hole to dig, and what it takes to, uh, that it takes time for fruit trees to mature, which we planted a ton in Oklahoma when we lived there, just before Nebraska, and I can attest to the fact that our fruit trees did not have fruit for several years. So here we go here. Let's plant a garden. No ducks. Fruit trees for sale. That's the author. Hilarious. So different types of apples. So there we go. It talks about well, the footnote talks about metric system. More days of the week review. And some addition. <laughs> Roots. Talking about how to put a tree in. And Fred now lives in a forest. It will take two or three years before you get a good amount of fruit. Very true. So, maize, some back. This is number 17, so there's one left after this. So I didn't know what to expect with these. I didn't know if they were uh, beginner readers, meaning that they were some kind of phonetic thing or, or what. And like I said, I think that they're really very on level for our son, who's seven and a half. Uh, I, there's, there's enough in here that will throw him off a little bit and make him think. So, but they're really great just picture books for for little kids, particularly if, uh, well, not if you're doing math with them, but like our son got into these through the math, and uh, he's always loved these stories, and now that he can do the math, he finds them even more fun, and uh, so like I said, he's going to read this all tonight, apparently. So, <laughs> he tied a peach to the tree. How to make peach pie. Don't use a sword to cut a peach. And for the sake of time, I'm trying to get through this. There we go. Some science. Rivers flow. How, the, how rivers flow. Peach. All right, one last one. Going home. So counting to 100. Days of the week. How not to sell a house. <laughs> Ducks ate the sign. Going back to kittens. Another look at a map. Two hundred, one hundred plus one hundred is two hundred.
there you go. So, as you can see, they're they're really good for, I would say, second grade, reading level, first grade, I don't know, maybe first grade these days. But, um, excellent for all kids, homeschooled or not, and have other concepts in them aside from just reading. So, uh, really, really good books, and I'm we bought these, and I'm really... I'm really happy with our purchase.